Hello, in this video I'm going to be comparing the Gobi electric toothbrush to Philips Sonicare and Oral-B. So three different brands of electric toothbrush, I'm going to try and run through some of the pros and cons of each and give you an understanding of which you might want to opt for. Now I must stress that this is a very difficult comparison to actually do for a number of reasons because Primarily, at the time of recording, Gobi offer just one electric toothbrush. Compare that to Philips Sonicare and Oral-B, and they have a number of different electric toothbrushes in their range. So this isn't a complete model by model comparison because that's very difficult to do. I'm trying to make an overarching comparison between the three brands and why you might want to go for one over the other. I'll also try and be as impartial as possible, but inevitably there may be a little bit of personal opinion comes in, but I'll try and explain why I've come to the conclusions I have. I'm going to try and break this comparison down into key sections, things that most people consider when buying an electric toothbrush. I'm going to try and pick a winner to try and help you understand in which instances a brush might be best. Another key factor to bear in mind here is that Gobi is primarily centered around a subscription-based model. You can make a one-off purchase of it and its brush heads, but the idea is you buy the brush handle and pay a recurring fee for replacement brush heads to be delivered to your door. It's a fresher, more innovative model that you don't get currently with Oral-B and Sonicare. They rely on you going out to buy the brush handles and the brush heads as and when you need it. So it's a little bit of a different model there in terms of the way they're sold. So something to bear in mind, but I'm gonna try and cover all of these key things for you. I suppose ultimately what you want to get out of this comparison is to know which is best and as I've already intimated it's very difficult to say which brush is best because everyone's going to have different opinions and needs and wants but if I had to come to a conclusion generally speaking for most people Oral-B is going to be the best option to go for. That's primarily because of the features and functions that it offers uh, for the price. As you'll see as I go through this comparison through some of the key things uh, Oral-B stands out for a number of different reasons. Oral-B ultimately offers the best cleaning action and therefore it tends to lead itself to being the best brand to go for. But it, it's not that simple. So if you need more assistance, do get in touch, leave a comment below. But as a general overarching rule, Oral-B is often the best one to go for. But in certain circumstances, as you'll see, Gobi or Sonicare might be a better option. So which has the best brushing technology? Well, that goes to Oral-B ultimately. All of these brushes, when used correctly, will give you a very good standard of clean to your teeth. Ensuring you're using the right brushing technique is the most important thing. Compare it to any manual toothbrush and you're gonna get a vast improvement with any electric toothbrush. But Oral-B have been shown in many studies to be clinically the best. There's arguments for and against, but as a general rule, they stand out as best. And that is in part because of the small round brush head can allow you to move the brush with more ease around your mouth. The larger brush heads on the Philips Sonicare can potentially be a little bit more restrictive. Um, and the Sonic cleaning action may well not be as good in the long run in comparison to Oral-B. But as I say, they're generally all very good and Gobi follows Oral-B with a small round brush head. So if you like to put it as a one, two, three, Oral-B, Gobi, Sonicare. Which has the best design? Well, of course, this is personal opinion. Gobi is quite innovative in terms of like this teardrop element. I think it's a nice design, but it doesn't stand up on a surface. You actually need to use the charging stand to have it stand up, right? So that's a bit of a negative potentially in terms of the design. Oral-B tends to be quite good, but small criticisms they often use icons on their brush handles for the different cleaning modes. You've got to remember what the icon means so you know which cleaning mode you've uh, enacted. Whereas with Sonicare, if you've got multiple cleaning modes, it just usually says clean, white, sensitive. Really simple little cues like that. Their button position, feedback, the quality of materials tends to be good. And overall, I give the design to Sonicare because as a general rule, when you look at their range of brushes, I think they stand out as being better in terms of the way they're thought out for the user. I should also mention there that on terms of design, they all offer different color options. Some of the color options do vary depending on the model, in particular with the Sonicare and Oral-B range. 
Sonic Air tend to offer more colour options than Oral-B. Uh, that said, Oral-B are increasing their number of options and Gobi do offer a number of options for their brushes in terms of the colours. Which offers more features? I'm going to give this to Sonic Air again. Um, Gobi doesn't have too many features. It has the essential elements that you need of an electric toothbrush. Two minute timer, 30 second pacer. It does have a smart brush head reminder system built in, which is a nice touch that reminds you when to change the brush head but you get that in sonic air brushes you don't get that in an oral b toothbrush although uh, their bluetooth enabled smart brushes do offer brush head kind of reminders as do sonic air both sonic air and oral b offer smart toothbrushes with the bluetooth connectivity that gobi don't um, you know there's other features that you can consider so uh, Sonic Air has uh, features such as an easy start feature which gradually increases the power. They have an automatic power off element. They also have a mode uh, on particular models which changes the cleaning mode based on the brush head attached. So in terms of features, I think Sonic Air wins it. Which is the quietest? Well, that goes to Sonic Air again. The Sonic motor produces an audible humming sound. Now the best example I can give in terms of sound is imagine you're cleaning your teeth at night in your bathroom and your partner's sleeping in the bed in the room next door. You could get away with leaving the door open to your bathroom and your partner's probably not going to hear the sound of the sonic air working. Switch on an Oral-B or a Gobi and you get a mechanical sound, it's much noisier and you're going to want to shut the door. Uh, Oral-B is louder than Gobi but Sonic Air is a quieter brush by a country mile. Which has the most accessories? Well, that has to go to Oral B. Both Sonic Air and Oral B offer a range of accessories. Gobi is very limited, but with Oral B, you get a much greater range of accessories from the basic sort of travel cases and charging stands. You get things such as wireless smart guides, which have a clock and a timer. Uh, you get smartphone holders. You get many more brushes that include brush head storage compartments. So Oral-B wins in that respect of terms of accessories. Not all of those accessories are going to be uh, necessary, but you've certainly got more choice when it comes to the Oral-B brushes. Which has the best battery life? Well, that goes to Sonic Air. It does depend on the model, but generally speaking, you can get three weeks on average with a Sonic Air model. Oral-B used to be about seven days. They're moving more up into around two weeks on average, whereas Gobi is about 12 days, so sub two weeks and well below Sonic Air. So although all have got built-in user rechargeable batteries, in terms of the battery life, it goes to Sonic Air. Which is the most innovative brand? Well, I give that to Sonic Air. Now, Gobi does have a brush head reminder system, that's pretty innovative. Oral-B have multiple cleaning modes. They have smart toothbrushes with a smartphone app. They've uh, got colored rings, pressure sensors, which is all very innovative. But Sonic Air probably wins because they have pretty much all the same features that Oral-B have, including a pressure sensor. But they've recently brought in brush sync technology, which is probably the smartest implementation I've seen, uh, which includes a brush head replacement reminder system. It actually tracks the brush head based on an RFID chip built into the head. It can change the cleaning mode based on the brush head that you attach. That only applies to specific models, so do be aware of that. And then they've got things like travel cases, which allow you to charge the brush in the case. All we have that, but with Sonic Air, they have a USB cable built in, which makes it nice and easy, whereas Oral-B need a power connector to allow that, which makes it bulkier and more cumbersome to actually use. So, Sonic Air wins in terms of innovation. Which is best quality? Well, this is again a difficult one. All of them have proven fairly successful and reliable in my hands-on testing, but I have to give it to Sonic Air. Generally speaking, their brushes feel of a better quality, like they're gonna last, the materials feel more premium. Now, to be fair, generally speaking, you do have to pay a slight premium for Sonic Air brushes, so you kind of get what you pay for if you like. Um, you tend to see a little less gloss plastic on Sonic Air brushes. You see here on this or a bit, it's more gloss white plastic, whereas mm -hmm. uh, on the um, Sonic Air here, there's less of that. Gobi is still pretty good quality, but there's small little things like the rubber grip around the edge here can come uh, loose. Um, not 
big issues, but that's why I ultimately feel Sonicare is best. Which is the cheapest? Well, this depends a little bit on which models you go for within the Oral-B and Sonicare range in particular. I've tried to match up in my calculations an Oral-B and Sonicare brush that was equivalent to the Gobi brush. And if we look at it over a three year period, then Gobi comes in around about $116 when you include the brush and replacement brush heads. Oral-B for an equivalent feature device came in around about $95. And then Sonicare came in around about $138. So not huge amounts of difference in the price, but a little bit of difference. And ultimately, Oral-B worked out the cheapest. Which is best for families? Well, I give that to Oral-B for a number of reasons. The cleaning action being the best is one standout feature. I want to make sure my family have lovely clean teeth and they're getting the best clean possible. But then it comes down to the price and the features that you get. Generally speaking, you get more features for less money on an Oral-B toothbrush. You can often get more in the box and some of the accessories, as I previously mentioned, are useful. You don't always get those with Sonic Hair brushes. You maybe have to buy them as a, a sort of third party kind of accessory or you have to go for a more premium model. So um, those are some of the reasons Oral-B kind of stand out. And another quite helpful one is if you're sharing a brush handle with Oral-B, um, you often get the colored, well you do get the colored rings on the brush heads, which allow you to identify whose brush head is who. And a lot of brushes now come with a brush head storage compartment, which gives a place to store those replacement spare or other family members brush heads. Which is best for travelers? I'm gonna give this to Sonicare for a couple of reasons. Battery life has a play in it because I'm assuming most travelers don't want to take their charging stand with them. So with an average of three weeks, battery life Sonicare wins. If you opt for one of the premium Sonicare models, you can get a case where you can actually charge the brush inside it. You can do that with Oral-B, but Sonicare actually have a USB cable built in, which means no additional plugs or adapters necessary. It makes it very easy to charge that brush on the go. So Sonicare wins there. Which has the best warranty? Well, that probably has to actually go to Gobi because providing you remain subscribed to their service, you continue to get a warranty for the life of your subscription. So it's an ongoing warranty period, which you don't get with the likes of Oral-B and Sonicare. Now, to be fair, these come with one to three years of warranty, depending on where you buy it and what model you buy, which is pretty good and enough for most people, but you don't get that continuing warranty as you do with Gobi. Most of these brushes have proven reliable, and in most instances, they're gonna be repaired or replaced fairly quickly. But of course, if Sonicare or Aura-B breaks outside that warranty period, you are gonna foot the bill in either paying for the repair or buying a new electric toothbrush, which you wouldn't have to do if you remain subscribed to Gobi. So I suppose the last factor is to think a little bit about the availability. Being a subscription-based service only available from Gobi Direct, you can't just pop out to the shops and get a replacement brush head for your Gobi toothbrush. You can do that for Oral-B and Sonicare because they're widely stocked. They're easily available, be that the brush heads or the handles. Pop into your supermarket, grocery store, pharmacy, even some corner shops or what have you will actually have these stocked for you. So in terms of availability, that's another little factor. So that kind of concludes all of the key factors that I thought were necessary when comparing these three brands of electric toothbrush. I hope this has helped you. If it has, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or queries, leave them below and I'll answer those for you. There is a full written comparison that goes into a little bit more detail that accompanies this video. Click the link in the description for that. If you want more videos like this, click subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching.